In this lecture, we'll learn how to do non-linear fit. So let's, let's start by selecting our data A and B of fitting, which uh, I've already provided. So when you come to analysis, head over to fitting and you can see non-linear care fit. So when you come to non-linear care fit and open the dialog box. So remember you have a linear care fit and you have non-linear care fit. So you have your data not linear and it's just like for instance polynomials of second third orders are non-linear. So the first thing you do here is you have to select your function. So if you select this one origin has many basic functions so they are origin basic function and you can so that's a category you can come to function and you can see some of these functions that origin has already provided so let's say we want to do a gauss now this is so this gives us a preview of how a gauss is going to fit with our data and we can also see the formula for the gauss that was used and that is it so you can come in and find any of these so we use the polynomial right and we can choose polynomial of let's say if we choose five you see it fits perfectly okay so that is that is one way and there are many inbuilt functions that origin already provides and it transcends many disciplines so you can go through and see whichever one that fits with your data and you can also come in and see the code of the function so this is polynomial this is going to be the code and you can also adjust the parameters that is giving you so it's giving me some of these parameters as so if you check the code you have this is what it's going to give me when i do the fit i'm going to get the coefficients of of x's going are going to be these but you can come in and change them and the fit will look different and you can also set bounds as well so that is a nice tool to have you can certainly go through these functions and find what each one can do maybe for some reason your equation or your model is not found in here and you want to create one yourself if you want to create your own function you can come over to user defined and head over to new so it brings about this fitting function builder so this is going to help you build your own function so let's come in and choose user defined and the function name let's choose fitting and then we let's just keep this maybe we can make this fitting okay changes and you can add a description yourself so whatever that you choose over here which is the function model so when you choose explicit you see the hint it gives you the function type so it says that if you choose explicit it means the y is just dependent on one value which is x and that is kind of what we have if you choose implicit you see the kind of equations that you are going to build so let's choose this and also let's choose expression because we are not going to do a lot of equations or we are not going to write a code so let's come to next then the next is you have to choose your dependent and independent variables and parameters so let's go ahead and choose our dependent variable and independent so it's already chosen for us we have y and x but if you label it differently you can also change that and the parameters let's let's add constant so because we did something around 3x to the power 5 i forgot the other one but let's say we have b let's make a small b 
okay let's just use one so let's just keep it to three so that, that's our b and let's not add constant so we just have x to the power 5 b x to the power 5 and head over to next so now these are parameters if we also put in constant we have to put them here now b we can just set an initial value let's just leave it as one but we have to write our equation so let's write x to the power 5 so let's say this is the equation that we want to write okay and you can do a quick check to see if it's if it works so it doesn't work because you left out b so b not you so it's giving you an idea if you come to evaluate let's say you type x to be 21 and you go to evaluate it says b not you so this is trying to tell you that you're not going to get any results so make sure you define b so b times x5 now when you hit evaluate it should work now b was used and from here you can just go to next and okay let's hit finish so now we are done so from here we can fitting is already chosen for us so now we've added our own and this is how it fits okay this is how it fits and you can come in to the code so you can play around the code and you can also see the parameters that you used and play around them as well so this is quite a, a cool tool to use and you can see what you will get or you can have a preview of what you get you can zoom in and see how you get and when you're done with your fit and you are satisfied you can always hit fit and it generates your report for you and from here you can increase it and this is your fit so you see that the fit was quite great because we had b equal to x to the power 5 and we have something like that so you can actually use this to build your models and also um, fit to your data set and it gives you your equation and it's telling us that b is this number so b is probably 3 x to the power 5 which is quite consistent because we had because we used um, b to be let me go there so we use b to be 3x to the power 5 so yeah that is that is it so that is it for non-linear fit also in non-linear fit you can head over to fitting and there are implicit curves so when you come to non-linear fit you can choose many of these as well so they are all other types of fit that origin already provides you can however also come and choose implicit so there are functions inbuilt into origin so when you come to fitting you can choose non-linear implicit care fit you can also choose surface fit and you can choose exponential fit so when you choose exponential for instance category exponential is selected so that is all that you're going to do so you're going to if your data is just exponential because most people work with exponential stuff you can just come in and select exponential at the beginning and everything that you choose is going to be exponential everything that you choose is going to be exponential so that is something to also note